All right, happy Wednesday, folks. Man, see, I tell you what, if we were actually filming these one day after another, after another, after another, this shirt would be getting pretty sour by now. But we've really only been sitting here about 30 minutes. So we're doing pretty good. Hebrews 1, 1 and 2. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors by the prophets at different times and in different ways. In these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, God has appointed him, Jesus. God has appointed him heir of all things and made the universe through him. The book of Hebrews is a book that doesn't identify its author, okay? Context says that it is someone who knows the Jewish history well, see? I happen to be one of the people I believe Paul wrote. You know, most of, of history and tradition of the New Testament church uh, trusted that this was a book authored by Paul. It, it follows a different sort of, of syntax and, and some different Greek construction, but I always tell people if I'm writing to you versus me writing to my mom, I'm going to use different wording. I'm going to use some different structures and things. Paul puts this down by inspiration of God, I believe. See, God has spoken to to these last days, in these last days, through Jesus Christ, His Son. Everything we hear from God is measured in the Son, measured by the Son. If it disagrees with Jesus, then it's not God speaking. If it disagrees with the Word of God as we have it, it's not God speaking. Jesus' life is God's testimony of love for us. It's really cool to study through the Gospels, just to watch how Jesus moves, how he, how he interacts with people. You see, God prepared the world for Jesus. All that we see from creation, all the way up through Malachi, all the way into the Roman Empire, all the way up to Jesus' birth, God prepared the world for Jesus. God sent Jesus. God raised Jesus. Jesus is at the right hand of God interceding on our behalf. See, I like to imagine Jesus walking into a room and beginning to speak. Say, right here where we're sitting, this nice little library room. If Jesus walked in the room and said, excuse me, there's no way that Kyle or I, either one would go, hang on a minute. There's no way we'd say, no, Jesus, hang on, get, give us five minutes, we'll get back to you. See, we would pay attention the moment Jesus started speaking. Jesus walked in the room, would we pay attention or be daydreaming? Or would we be on our phones? Would we be playing a game? Would we be reading something? It's no different when you're walking through your day, when you're hanging out with your friends, when you're just living life. Are you paying attention to Jesus? Here's my prayer. Jesus, just speak to me today. Let me hang out with you. Let me hear from you today. You see, that's the encouragement of Hebrews 1, 1, and 2. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors by the prophets at different times and in different ways in these last days. He has spoken to us by his Son. God has appointed him heir of all things and made the universe through him. See you next time.